Now, for those of you that actually watched the WWE's Greatest Royal Rumble event, I was not one of them, you know one thing to be true. Just one thing. Is that there was only one thing that mattered that entire show. Only one thing of significance. Only one thing you will truly remember. And that is Titus O'Neil's Tumble the Greatness, baby. <laughs> like, I don't give a damn if your show is an hour long, five hours long, or 24 hours long. Once that happens, nothing matters before, and there sure as hell is nothing that can follow it. He got bit by the mat monster. He went flying in tumble. <laughs> oh, Titus. <laughs> he tried to save it. You just can't. You just can't. It's happened, and it is there in perpetuity forever! And I don't care. Braun Strowman winning that Rumble. Daniel Bryan going forever. Nutjob Nakamura. Reigns and Lesnar ending controversially. None of it matters. Nobody's going to remember. It will always be the Titus O'Neil tumble night. It will always be Titus O'Neil's show. He will forever be etched in history. It was his night. It was his moment. It was when he achieved true greatness, damn it. No matter how you do it, the fact is he did it. Which is exactly why the WWE needs to capitalize on this and make him a star. And no, I'm not Ribbon. No, I'm not Josh. And no, I'm not just trying to pour more salt into poor Titus O'Neil's wounds. I mean it. I'm dead damn serious. Not just sitting there and ribbing him on Twitter and social media and surely ribbing him on commentary for the next couple of weeks. I mean taking this opportunity and running with it. Push this dude. Hashtag Titus Tumble. Hashtag we want Titus. When you think about it, you have just opened Pandora's box to a whole new world of opportunities that were not previously present. And look, when I look at a guy like Titus, the stupid-ass suspension for touching Vince McMahon aside, here's a decent guy that's been loyal to the company, a good public face for the company for the past several years, whether you like it or not, or him or not, he has personality. Again, you might not always like the personality, depending on your view on wrestling, but he at least has one. He's not boring. He has something to him. He's got decent size, so on and so forth. He looks different, obviously. There's a chance here to make some money with this dude. If we don't have a Titus Tumble shirt by the end of May or even the middle of May, there is something significantly wrong with WWE. Because I don't know about you, but if you put that moment on a t-shirt and sell it, I will buy it. And I know damn good and well a lot of other people would too. Like if you put up there right now on the WWE shop website, a picture of the Shockmaster falling through the wall, that instantly goes to the top seller list. Do you doubt it? Because who's mostly buying those shirts anyways, other than parents buying them for kids? It's hardcore adult fans, like us. Hell yeah, I'd buy a Shockmaster shirt. Are you nuts? I sure as hell would buy a Titus O'Neil shirt, and a lot of other people would too. But now, you've seen the glory that could come with a botchy Titus O'Neil. You could make an incredibly great, sympathetic, baby-faced character out of him right here, right now. You could put him in so many awkward situations that he just finds a way to screw up. It's not even that hard. You could show him one time coming out of the locker room and he's got toilet paper on the bottom of his damn wrestling boots. He could be sitting there talking to a girl and all of a sudden, he farts. Yeah, I know it sounds stupid, but you know what? Wrestling is stupid sometimes, okay? There's a lot of you that love a guy that's wrestling blow-up dolls and nine-year-old girls. Think about it. You can put him in situations where he awkwardly finds klutzy ways to lose matches. He sits there and bumbles his lines. 
um, doing promos and interviews. Like you could do all of these things that make them inherently, unfortunately, kind of look stupid, but also for a point where people start to feel bad for him and they feel sorry for him and they kind of want to get behind him because they can kind of relate to how the world works and how life is and that it doesn't always go the way that we plan. It doesn't always go the way that we want. And a lot of us can find fundamental ways to fuck up our own lives. Titus O'Neil could do that. Show up late to the building. You could do so so many creative possibilities with him. Fashion faux pas where the fashion police are writing him tickets. You could have him run in and interfere in a match and cost the wrong guy the match. You've got umpteen dozen bajillion damn possibilities. Run with this WWE. Run with it. Make it work. You could sit there and get to the point where you have capitalized on this. And, you know, nothing wrong with the Titus Worldwide stuff, but that, that's come and gone. You have to go with the reality that is right here, right now. You can sit there and make him such a sympathetic figure to where you can put him in a match at WrestleMania for, let's say, the U.S. title and have him win. And it's a legit markout moment on that show. Yes, it is. Because people will be like, all right, Titus, he didn't screw this one up. And even then, you still have the possibility of when he wins matches, he clutzily finds ways to win matches. He screws up to botch to win. God, when I think about the possibilities of what they could do now with Titus O'Neil, the moment has happened. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that the WWE can never do to change it. Everybody's seen it. Everybody knows it. Can't just delete it off the WWE Network even if you wanted to, because that's really awkward. How did you go from number 38 to number 40 or whatever the hell it was? The key and the trick is now, how do you take what inherently looks like a bad thing and turn it into an opportunity to make money and be a real flipping positive here? You can have people bully Titus on You've got so many ways, so many paths that you could go. I beg you, WWE, don't screw the pooch on this one. Don't be petty. Don't be stupid. Don't just knock him for a little bit and then get right back to not pushing him. You have an opportunity here. Titus is getting more buzz than he's ever gotten before. Run with it. And if you do it well, you do it right, and you stick with it, the people will foul Get that merch for that Titus Tumble on the WWE shop now! And you're going to sell hundreds of thousands of those cocksuckers just like that. And you care enough to run with this and go with this. You inherently create a very easy to relate to baby face that people can really get behind. I don't know what you're going to say. I'm not giving him a US title or an IC title. Those belts don't mean crap anyways. But it can mean something with the right character, the right story, and the right moment in time. Don't screw this up, WWE. Don't do it. Take this ball and tumble with it, damn it! Push Titus O'Neil. The hashtag Titus Tumble could be the start of a new beginning. You have a license to print a little bit of money, WWE. Don't sit there and screw it up. Become a mint, damn it. Print that money because it's there to be made.